Okay, so it's time to talk about order of operations. And the way that a lot of people remember their order of operations is by remembering the sentence, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. A lot of people, instead of remembering the sentence, just remember PEMDAS. And now each of these letters, of course, stands for something. Um, and it gives us the order of operations. P stands for parentheses. tells you the first thing you're supposed to do when you have a mathematical expression to simplify is to look at the parentheses and simplify those first. E stands for exponents. The M and the D kind of go together. They stand for multiply and divide. The A and the S go together as well. They uh, stand for add and subtract. So the first thing that you do when you're simplifying an expression is look at the parentheses. Simplify those first. Then you carry out all exponents. Then you multiply and divide. Then you add and subtract. So, so let's do an example. Uh, say we have an expression like this. 5 squared minus 3 times the square root of 8 plus 1, uh, let's see, plus 2 to the 0 power. So we have an expression like this, and we want to simplify it. The first thing that we want to do is look for parentheses. Now, the reason I picked this example is because uh, anything under a square root actually does have hidden parentheses in it. Uh, so you want to simplify square roots in the parentheses section. So we should do that first. 5 squared minus 3 square root. Now, 8 plus 1 equals 9, so I'm just going to change that into a 9. Plus 2 to the 0 power. Uh, now, the square root of 9 we know is 3, so um, we may as well continue to simplify our square root in the parentheses section. So, 5 squared minus 3 times 3 plus 2 to the 0. Okay, so that takes us through the parentheses section. Now, the next thing is e. We need to simplify all of our exponents, carry them all out. And there's a couple of exponents in this problem. One uh, is the square on 5, and you may know from your times tables that 5 squared is 25. You may also know that anything to the 0 power is just 1. So 2 to the 0 power equals 1. So we carried out all of our exponents. There are no more exponents in this problem. Now it's time to multiply and divide. I don't see any, multi I don't see any division, but I do see some multiplication. 25 minus 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So I'm going to put that in there. And now we're finished with the multiplication and division. We just need to add and subtract. You can do it in any order you want, but I'm just going to do it from left to right. Uh, 25 minus 9 is just 16. And 16 plus 1 is just 17. So we simplified this expression right here uh, using the order of operations, and we got 17. So why don't you give a, a different one a shot on your own? How about uh, 9 minus 3 times 2 plus 1 minus 4 squared uh, plus, oh, I don't know. 10 over 2. Why don't you hit pause on the video and give this one a shot. Okay, so uh, we need to go through our order of operations here. The first thing in our order, op order of operations is parentheses. So we need to simplify what's in parentheses. In this case, it's pretty obvious. There's a 9 minus 3 and there's a 2 plus 1 in parentheses. 9 minus 3 is 6. Uh, 2 plus 1 is 3. Then we need to carry out all of our exponents. Uh, in this case, we have one exponent. It's a square on 4. So we have 6 times 3. I'm going to get rid of the parentheses there. Uh, minus, let's see, 4 squared is 16, right? So we got rid of all of our exponents and all of our parentheses. Now we can just multiply and divide. 
6 times 3 is 18. And we have some division in this problem. 10 divided by 2. Pretty simple. It's just a 5. Now we just add and subtract. I'm just going to do it from left to right. 18 minus 6 is 12. Add 5, that's 17. So there you go. Simplified this expression here all the way down to a 17.